Hello everyone. I am bringing you the word of the day from my neighborhood. And we are gonna start with Acts 1-8, which is one of my favorite all-time passages. For you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And here's the thing, as I'm walking through the neighborhood right now, there's these four areas that this passage really talks about. So you've got Jerusalem, you've got Judea, you've got Samaria, and you have to the ends of the earth. And so while that is all happening in there, you also have the power of the Holy Spirit that has come on the disciples that have been sitting under Jesus, instructing them for 40 days. And right before Acts 1-8, Jesus has actually been sitting with them and the disciples are like, is the kingdom coming back now? Like we've been waiting, is it now? And Jesus then tells them, you've got to wait for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's going to come and things are going to happen. And <laughs> in true Jesus form, the disciples really didn't know what he was talking about. And what they weren't really paying attention to was this incredible message that Jesus was giving them was that when the power of the Holy Spirit comes on them, which as believers, we all hold, each of us has the Holy Spirit inside of us. And we are relying on that more and more right now, simply because we have to rely on that Holy Spirit to keep us connected right now, because we are so disconnected in so many different ways. And so you've got Jerusalem, which was their city, their neighborhoods. You've got Judea, which was their country. You've got Samaria, which was all the places that made them extremely uncomfortable. Um, those, those are the places that you want to walk around instead of walk through because they terrify you. And you've got to the ends of the earth. And I honestly think that this scripture is super important right now because to the ends of the earth, we're all struggling with the same thing. We all have our own neighborhoods. We all have our own cities. We all have our own countries. But at the same time, Everything that's going on with coronavirus right now, there's no borders. It's affecting everyone. So we're in this together, no matter whether we like it or not. But we also know that we want it to be over. And that was exactly what the disciples were actually asking Jesus. Now that this has all happened, is it over yet? Because I kind of want it to be over. And how many of us are really sitting in that place with all of this. I'm an extreme extrovert. Um, the struggle's real to not be able to interact and engage with people in person. It's painful. It's bad. But we have hope and we have a purpose and we have a calling and all of those things come together in the areas where Jesus told the disciples that they were going to be sent out to. So while you're strolling in your neighborhood, pray for your neighbors. Talk to them from six feet away. <laughs> but also be praying for your country and the places that make you super uncomfortable and to the ends of the earth because we're all struggling together. But Jesus is hope and Jesus is power. And there's truth that we all get to be with. Blessings, friends.